The One Young World Summit in The Hague in the Netherlands kicks off from the 17th to the 20th of October. The aim is to continue to build a better world by sharing views with particularly young people from around the world. SABC will be covering this event. Um, in fact, I'll be uh, going over with some of the delegates this evening to uh, find out a little bit more about what we can expect. And also, I'm joined in studio by two of the delegates that are also going to go. They've been chosen and sponsored to go along. This is Nozipo Mpanza and Sophie Kanza. Good to have both of you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. So yeah. you Thank must you be very feeling nice. very excited. I mean, are you also, when are you leaving to go? We're leaving this evening. You're so also leaving this evening. This evening yes. so, I mean, this is, this is a, it's a big thing to be selected. And I'm, perhaps a lot of people haven't heard what Young World, uh, One Young World is. So can, can, I, can I leave the responsibility to <laughs> you to explain to us exactly what it is? Uh, Nazipo, give us a, an understanding of what it is. Sure. So One Young World is an annual global summit that um, brings together young children change makers, young change accelerators rather, from all across the world. Um, and it's 196 countries that are represented at the summit. And we're taking about a 50 strong South African team um, actually there. And we have all African countries represented. And the purpose really is to have an exchange of, of thinking, is to collaborate around all the different initiatives that all the young delegates and the ambassadors are doing. So essentially that's what um, One Young All, this leadership conference, but it's more of a collaboration, a community, a village of exchange, of exchanging thinking. Yeah. yeah. Now, I mean, to be selected to actually go, this is, it's quite an honor because, uh, you know, you have a lot of people, I imagine, that want to be in this particular seat that you're sitting in right now. But talk to us about your selection, Sophie. How did you get selected to be one of the delegates to go? So I applied online. Um, they had a call to action um, for countries that are underrepresented. So um, I'm from the Democratic Republic of Congo and I applied and um, after a very stringent process, I was selected. And then I happened to also be um, headhunted to be a peace ambassador, which is a scholarship program that is uh, sponsored by the European Union for um, youth that are doing a lot in the peace and conflict as well as um, it, um, countering extreme yeah. um, violence in their countries. Are you based in, in the DRC or are you living no, in no, South no. Africa at the moment? Um, I've been based in South Africa okay. my whole life. Because I'm well, your whole life, but you, you still, so you were, you, you were born in the DRC? Yes, I was. And I know that you are a very big advocate for the DRC and talking about some of the, 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 the issues that affect the youth and that are affecting the country. Talk to us a bit about what you do and your advocacy. Okay, so I am the co-founder of Sophia Kanza Foundation, founded with my sister Louise, and we do a lot of work with uh, asylum seekers, refugees, and migrant youth in South Africa, um, and we also have partnerships with youth back home in the DRC. Yeah, which is, which is great, and this is also giving your, your cause a global platform, but I'm going to come back to you more about that, because I want to hear about, about, about you, Nozipo. You... You work for ESCOM, correct? No. You're not anymore? No, no, you no, used no. to work for ESCOM, No, though. not at all. Never. No. I got the wrong Nozipo then. <laughs> could, oh, there is, there is a Nozipo fans actually that worked um, for, for ESCOM. Can you believe yes, it? I mean, what yes, are the chances? What are the chances? <laughs> so what is it that, that you do That then? is true. So I'm a strategy consultant um, and I'm a journalist and, and writer. So, okay. Um, yeah, so I, I'm, I, I write for a, a couple of... Um, publications and I'm also with the radio station um, but my the organization that I affiliate with is um, Haditi Wetu and we're an African literature book club where we pay young professional and high school, high school students on a six week reading program to journey with one another through African literature and there's a mentorship exchange there, there's a career exchange and the idea is just to let people connect through books. That is amazing, yeah. that's really lovely. So did you apply very much so the same way? Yes, yeah, so it would have been the same, it was, um, it was an application process and go going through review and a stringent process and then to ultimately get it alongside two other ladies. So what are you hoping to achieve out of all of this? You know, I mean, you, you, get, to, you get to this platform. I believe that there are some of the most incredible speakers that are going to be there and that are going to be addressing the crowds. But what's the idea? I mean, what are you hoping to achieve? 
Yeah, a couple of things. I think the first is it's it's a great platform for collaboration. You know, there's a bunch, there's a lot of people there who are doing work that might very align very closely to what it is that I'm doing, and it's just it's amazing to find a network that you can collaborate with. So one, it's partners, partners across the world um, that I can collaborate with on my projects. I think the second is learning. It's what what binds everybody at young one young world rather together is curiosity. Everybody's curious about something. Everybody wants to learn. So it's just the opportunity um, to learn. And then it's an exchange of culture. I'm mm -hmm. hoping to immerse myself in different cultures, and I think it's it's the perfect platform to be doing that. Yeah, I mean, this yeah. is something that you can't. You you actually you, you cannot learn this in a book. Yeah. Um, when you are confronted, and, and and I bring this to you as well, Sophie. When you are surrounded by people with different ideas, different cultures, and especially young people, this will inspire you. And I think that's the idea: is to be inspired and bring that inspiration and create change back here. Um, again, I'm going to ask you the same question. What are you hoping to take away from this? I think for me, number one would be collaborations because um, it's a well-known fact that, you know, there's a refugee crisis worldwide. And um, so One Young World has an app where on the app you're able to see who's attending, what they do, where they do it, etc. So you're able to already connect pre-summits, um, and I've already started looking for other people that are in the, you know, the Afrophobia, xenophobia space, and uh, advocacy, and trying to connect to them to see what challenges they face, how they're dealing with the challenges, and how I can bring those methods back home, and you know how we can collaborate to, you know. Um, further the representation of especially youth migrants and refugees. Yeah, well, listen, I wish you the best of luck there. Um, I, I'm going to be joining you, so I'm going to be there with you, experiencing all of this and meeting you all for the first time this morning. So we'll be there together, and uh, I just think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I know two of our South African uh, speakers that are going to be there, Tuli Madonsela as well as Grasa Michelle. Yeah. Uh, and Kumi Naidu. And yeah. most definitely Kumi Naidu, but Kumi, we've lost him to the world, I think. <laughs> Kumi's all over the place, but still being a, a South African face behind it all. So yes. this should be really exciting. Yeah. Ladies, good luck. I wish you the best of luck, and I look forward to the journey with you. Thank you Thank very you much. So good. Much. So you. these are two of the youths who I'm meeting for the first time as well, that are the delegates that are going to One Young World, and there's a massive South African delegation as well as an African delegation that will be represented in The Hague, and we look forward to bringing you some of the inspiring stories and, uh, and hopefully bring about that change. You know, when you see the world through the eyes of the youth that's when you know what real issues there are that are facing us and hopefully we can get to the bottom of all that so that'll be happening for the next couple of days when we look forward to that Sophie Kanza who is uh, here living in South Africa but her heart I think still in the DRC fighting for different causes in the DRC particularly when it comes to migrants and discrimination and Nozipo Mpanza who is doing amazing things when it comes to literature and uh, spreading the word through her various platforms thanks both of you for being with us let's now get you